Yeah. 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 God's blessing. I'm interested. And what is it? Proper bar. I'm sure you made the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I've got something for you. I hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you.
Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Henry, let's play a game. What game? A guessing game. I have something with me today, and you have to guess what it is. All right. You'll have to give me a clue, though. Fair enough. Here's a clue for you. It's something you'd find in a tavern. Is it beer? Oh, I made it too easy for you, didn't I? So it is beer. Let's be having it then. Wait, that's not all. Since you guessed right, as a reward, you can choose. Either I'll give you the beer, or I'll reveal one piece of family wisdom our grandfather used to tell us. Tough choice. All right, I'll take the wisdom. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Really, really ready? Don't leave me in suspense. Tell me. Right. Listen carefully. This is the wisdom of our family, passed down from generation to generation. When someone offers you free beer, take it. <laughs> well, that's it. Ah, all right, you got me, I admit it. <laughs> nice one. At least next time you will be wiser. <laughs> anyway, that's all the wisdom I have for you today. It's time me and my beer headed for home. Will you accompany us? Well, naturally I couldn't leave such a pretty pair to go alone. The time passes so quickly with you, Henry. Come and see me again sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
This looks like the place they were talking about. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? I didn't find anything unusual on him except for a lot of coin. I'd say that's unusual for a monk, wouldn't you? Well, uh... Have you got it on you? Yeah. Great. Since that's the money we paid the bastard for a job he didn't do, I'll have it back. Sure. Here you are. Well, I never. Honest to God, Groshen. What are you so glum about? You didn't think I'd let you keep it, did you? Here's your share for the work you did. Not a Groshen more. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasau, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. Show this to them. It's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned.
I'd like you to teach. Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right, but it'll cost. Now. See you later. How are you? I'd like you to. Certainly. I'm interested in. All right, but it'll cost. Now. Pay Copy with. I'd like you to teach me how to... Certainly. I'd like to hone my... First you have to have some skill. Well, are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? What fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that monk. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. Take care. Face. Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You'd better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. But we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry, too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that... Bastards in need of a good trouncing. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That... might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. Good luck then. Why is it taking so long?
Yeah. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just a start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who works for them, and let him recruit me. Ah! God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test, they trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Pribislavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad.
God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Yeah. day to you. Can I sleep? I suppose I... For how long? Just the one night. No problem. Here you are. You'll like it here. Farewell. Yeah. 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 
That could be it. Yeah. What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. That was easy. Now I bet...
wall here isn't too high. Look out! These tents look pretty impressive. These fellows are paupers, that's for sure. certainly are enough of them. I uh, guess a good four or five dozen. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. What do you think? No, I don't have any. So why didn't you just say so? What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? I'm no master, but I know a thing or two. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanya. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. God, even my face. Is that all you're giving you? Vanished. 
must be here somewhere. Apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety and ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. <sighs> and I found but I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm gonna kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you. And I'll be there to see it. <laughs> I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I had. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg? Or Sir Hinek, the dry devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, a stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. <laughs> and let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Eric, 
Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that book really works. You over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? It's Bishek. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, shh, quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. And what about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang you. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. You're right. I don't care as long as you do what you say. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me, too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen. I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp, on the slope above Sasal, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of a stockade. All we have to do is jump over, and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all? Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you, and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows. And stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck.
at you like a rabbit. I'm over here. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Any word about your boy, Radzik? Nothing yet. Mm, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me given the balls that he has. Now I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry! Father? I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. <laughs> Looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranik. But now I know what they're planning. <laughs> What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! 
I'll skin him alive. How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his. That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Gibbish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. If that bastard wants a battle, much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take him by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. He can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranig tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? Zbyshek is from Skalik. He helped me escape captivity and save my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Zbyshek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick, before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Get a good meal inside you, and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishban, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Talmberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Sir, I lost all my things at Vranik, and I need some combat gear. Yes, lad, I know. Here's the key to the armory. Take whatever you need. You deserve it. If I don't set off right now to deliver the message Listen to Sir up, Divish, men. there's a good chance our men will night. lose the battle. No I can't picking. let that happen. I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. He was talking utter nonsense. Everyone believed him, though, until you put him in his place. Even you. Well, no, you're not.
jakože je to za dědina. Nedomá líčka červené jsou My respect.
Can we do something about the... Well... Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hannah should have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh... For Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Branyuk. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them.
you don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. It seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be 50. Maybe three score, most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. A and our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other side? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. You don't do things by halves, Dimish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. And we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering rams. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward!
that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Todd? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. So this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Radzig? Alongside hunting, drinking, and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat tot? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> If you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. 
We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Oh, I wonder where it could be. What are you saying, you horse son? Townberg. Did he go to Townberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. You'll never get. What? We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Too late. Quickly! Follow me!
you rat come out and fight like a man <laughs> i don't think so i like it better right here but you'd rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp i could just as easily cut her throat i have hostages enough and strong walls to protect me bring him here radzik What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Christ, uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew, but I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rad my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No. No. That is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. That's a big if. 
What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hamish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. I'd better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. <laughs> 